In this video, we're going to study the periodic trend of ionization energy. First ionization energy is the energy required to remove one valence electron from an atom in the gas phase. So here's our atom. This would be a valence electron. So ionization energy is the amount of energy required to ionize this atom, or the amount of energy required to remove the one valence electron, usually measured in kilojoules per mole. As you go left to right across a period, what do you think might happen to ionization energy? Well, it turns out it increases. And the things we can use to explain that are, once again, our effective nuclear charge and shielding. Let's look at period two. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. Each time you go across the period, you're adding more effective nuclear charge. Recall that the number of shields are staying the same, but by adding more nuclear charge, you're making this more positive. If this is more positive, it pulls on this electron harder. So it takes more energy to remove this electron the more protons we have here in the nucleus. As we go down a group, what do you think might happen to ionization energy? Ionization energy decreases. The reason being, each time you go down, you add another shield. Every time you add another shield in between the nucleus and the valence electron, it reduces the pull that the positive nucleus has on this electron. So more shields in between means a weaker pull on this electron. So if this electron is held in very weakly or very weak, that means it doesn't take much energy at all to get rid of it. Let's look at the electron configuration for magnesium. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So the first ionization energy would be the amount of energy required to remove just one of those electrons in the 3s. And the value is about 738 kilojoules per mole. So to remove one mole of electrons from magnesium, it would take this many kilojoules. Now you don't need to memorize this number. I'm just putting it up here for the sake of example. So that's first ionization energy how much energy it takes to remove one valence electron. Let's look at second ionization energy. You guessed it. It's the amount of energy required to remove a second valence electron from an atom in the gas phase. So once again, here's the electron configuration for magnesium. Now if we want to remove two of those electrons, not surprisingly, it takes about twice as much energy. But look what happens. Now the valence energy level is energy level 2. And you can see that we have 2 plus 6. So that's a total of 8 valence electrons. That makes magnesium have a stable electron configuration. Anytime there's 8 valence electrons, that's desirable or f energetically favorable for the atom. Magnesium plus 2 now has 8 valence electrons. Removing a third electron creates a less stable electron configuration and surprisingly requires 5 times more of the energy. So this is just a brief survey of ionization energy.